it up. There will, there will be a, a label or a tag affixed to it. I don't have one on, on this particular engine, but um, I'm going to have to get a, a recovery machine and an identifier to find out what kind of refrigerant is in here. The first thing I did, I did a visual inspection looking for uh, any damage, any, uh, any visible leaks. So I would probably start um, all my fittings here. I'll look for leaks, any, um, any green residue, any oil, any, um, any fuzzy dirt. This here is your cold side, all your fittings along here are in your hoses, uh, where your hoses connect. Any uh, any here on your compressor. Again, all, all your hoses go to your uh, your condenser and back out. But this one here looks pretty good. The next thing I did, looked up my gauges, I want to see what my system pressure is. Right now it looks pretty good. It's um, that's a good static pressure for right now. Uh, this happens to be a, a training engine, so we can't start it right now, but we can still do a visual. So we turn up here and, uh, at the compressor. This being a um, an older vehicle, it's got a piston type compressor. It's driven off um, a serpentine belt. Your um, your clutch is here, which is um, activated by an electromagnetic switch. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, this this here compressor is, is also marked. This here is your uh, your suction line, your your low side, your discharge line here, which is your high side. So your discharge will come out here. Come along this line here. It goes out here into your condenser. The condenser is on the front of your radiator, so as the truck is moving and the fan is, is moving, it pulls the air across the across the fins lowers the pressure of the of the refrigerant and turns it from a gas back into a liquid. Now the liquid is still under high pressure so it's going to come back out through this line here. Your filter dryer, it'll take out uh, your moisture um, in uh, some degree. Goes back up into here. Then it's going to go into your evaporator. Your evaporator is inside the cab. That's what um, removes all your, your hot air from the cab. You know, it'll absorb all that, all that heat. That'll get picked up by your refrigerant and come back out through this line here. Then, of course, it just travels back into your compressor and recycles again. Now, if I was able to run the engine, then I would just go up inside. Then, of course, once you're inside, We'll, uh, we'll get it started. We'll check our pressures again. Then we'll just go through our, um, our, our simple checks. We'll then we'll turn our AC on. We'll turn on low, we'll medium, and high. We'll check our blower speeds and blower fans. Uh, we'll check all of our, um, all of our, our diffusers, our panels, make sure we're getting cold air. Then we'll use a digital thermometer and we'll verify the uh, verify the temperature of the. Uh, of the air coming out.